Welcome back. My name is Jay Oza. I teach, mentor, and coach people on public speaking so that they can give winning high-stakes speeches, whether it's for a job interview, a business or sales meeting, or even at a conference. Today, I want to give you a very simple speech tip. And this is something that you can probably use if you're meeting somebody or if you're on the phone or even if you're giving a speech but it's something you have to think about before you give a speech and there are three things you have to control now, it sounds so simple you you'll be saying like come on you wasted my time with these this simple tip okay you have to control your breath you have to control your voice and you have to control or um, how you look. Okay, so let me go through each one of them. Now, the reason I came up with this because I coach quite a few people, especially when they're interviewing for a job. And when I listen to them, they just sound like they have all kinds of anxiety. It's just like they don't make you feel comfortable. And I don't give this tip out because I always thought that people would know this. This is not that difficult to know. But now, after seeing so many people that I talk to, they don't create that feeling that they are comfortable and they are under control and in command. So I thought about this and I said, maybe I don't even do this either. I kind of do it, but I don't really think about it because I guess... I've been doing it for a while. So the first thing you have to do is, before you get on the phone, control your breath. And even during the call, get your breath under control. Because until you get your breath under control, you can't control your mind. Your mind has been taken over. Your mind shouldn't control your breath. Because if you control your breath, then the mind is suddenly, you're taken over, saying, here's what I want you to do. Otherwise, the mind is going to take over. And you're going to start making all kinds of mistakes say something stupid, or start speaking fast, become incoherent. And that's a no-no, because that makes the other person feel like, I don't know, this person's not making me comfortable. So, so the first thing you got to control is your breath. Now, this is not that difficult. Just take some few deep breaths, you know, belly breath, like a yoga breath, maybe five of them. Stop deep breath for five seconds stop for maybe a couple of seconds and then exhale and when you do five or six of them immediately your your, your brain will take you, you'll take over you control your mind your brain because your brain can't do anything because otherwise when you're breathing you don't even think about it right so here you have to be conscious so it's conscious breathing and when you do conscious breathing you're immediately telling your brain here's what I want you to do don't do anything stupid don't react don't respond until I tell you to Okay, so the breath is very important before any type of uh, conversation you have. Even when you're doing a, a recording like this, get your breath under control. And the second thing is, once you have your breath under control, the next thing you have to do is control your voice. Because right now you're seeing me on the video, so you're seeing me how I look, whether I'm smiling or not whether I'm speaking softly or whether I'm speaking fast, I'm varying my voice, all these things you're going to notice. Now, obviously, you're seeing me, which makes it a little bit easier, so that means I have to also look good, right? But a voice on a phone is very important. A voice is always, I always think, is the most important, unless it's a face-to-face -face communication, then other factors come in. Okay, so let's just focus on the voice. So you have to ask yourself, and it's something you got to practice, you know. I uh, I carry, a, I think I showed this in a, a previous videos. I carry this everywhere because I want to practice speaking to see exactly how I sound before I talk. Now, people think like, wow, I know what I sound. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't know what you sound like. The way you sound is going to change based on the situation. Like, hey, that's given. That's a fact. Everybody doesn't sound the same. When you're under control, you sound one way. When you're, when you're panicked or something, when you have anxiety, you're going to sound different. 
So you got to record yourself if you can. What do I sound like? Now, I'm sure there are exercises, and I, I'm not going to go deep into this. You can come up with your own exercise on what you should sound like based on practicing. So this is going to take some time. But voice is something you got to get under control. Is this the voice you like? How is the other person responding? So you got to vary your voice. Try different things. Experiment. What's working? What's not working? Don't just assume that I'm just going to speak the way I do. No. This voice you use is how the other person is going to react. That's the voice you want. If they react positively, then your voice is right. If they don't react positively, then the voice may be a contributing factor. Somehow you didn't make them subconsciously feel, make them feel comfortable. Okay, so we took care of the breath. We took care of the voice. The third thing is this, this is when it's face to face. You've got to look good. What do you look like? See, if I'm meeting with you, I can control my breath, I can control my voice, but I still don't know what kind of facial gestures I'm making. Are they like weird facial gestures? Do I like look up, look sideways? I mean, like, what do you look like? Am I smiling? A lot of people don't even know what they look like when they're smiling. So if you're on the phone, I do a lot of video calls. I have the luxury of seeing what I look like. And sometimes afterwards, I'm like, ah, I don't want to look like that. What if, if I don't look well, what is that conveying to others? So here I'm hope I'm looking good. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, you got to look pretty. If you're not, look. If you're not handsome, you're not handsome. But that doesn't mean you still can't look good. Like, I put on my jacket. I have a nice golf shirt on. Hey, that's not bad. I'm not going to overdo it. And then when I'm talking, I'm going to use gestures that are comfortable but not too wild, you know, all over the place, moving around, not looking at the camera, and try to smile as much as possible. Look like you want to listen to me. And if you're on the phone, get a mirror. Look at yourself. Or nowadays, we have, a, we have one of these. So if you're on the phone, just turn on the camera, and then you can uh, talk. And I always think that you should put on a speaker phone and also look at what you look like while you're talking to the person because you want to see what you look like okay now these things you might say oh come on Jay these are like so minor believe me it's not that minor I don't know anybody who does these things so I just wanted to give these tips to you that sometimes we all focus on the content think the content is gonna win the day and it doesn't it's also how you're making the other person feel. And they're sensing it based on the words you use. But sometimes it's not even the words you use. It's how you sound. Do you sound confident? Do you sound like you're under control? Do you sound like you're at peace? Because if you're not, why should they feel that your voice should exude confidence? Not that, I'm confident, I'm confident. No, <laughs> that won't make somebody feel confident. You've got to sound confident. And if you sound confident, then the other person is going to sense it. They're not going to then ask these difficult questions like, well, he says he's confident, but I don't really sense it. So you want to make sure you eliminate these things. Okay, I know what I'm saying. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to be very deliberate. I'm not going to go swing wildly. I'm going to be under control. And that's it. And I'm going to smile. I'm going to enjoy the experience. So you got to control your breath. you got to control your voice. you got to control what you look like. And this is even without the content. That's a different ballgame. That's a whole new video right there. Content is what we all focus on. But a lot of times, it's not the content. It's how you present the content. And the only way you can present it really well is through your breath. Breath's very important. Obviously, we know that your voice, and hey, are you like smiling? Do you really enjoy this content that you're communicating? So to close it out again, focus on your breath before you get on a call. Before you get on a call, focus on your breath, voice, and what you look like. And I believe if you do that, the content doesn't have to be that great. People will connect. Okay? Try it. Let me know how it goes. And as always,
Thank you for taking time out and watching this video. I hope